at all. So without further ado, um, I would like to call uh, Doric Bavai to uh, This is on, I'm assuming. Okay. Um, right. My first of all, I'm an atheist of sorts. I am more indifferent to the concept of religion and God than denying it. I don't deny that there might be a God, but I'm indifferent to it. If there were a proven God, I still don't think I would follow it. Okay. Um, I believe religion is a facility that's important to those who need it, but I believe it's between, religion should be between, in my opinion, between a man and the God. Um, I'm not against faith, but I am against institutionalized um, religion, the church, um, and I don't think religion has a place in how we interact in social life. Um, one of the reasons why this is is because um, I don't believe it's pragmatic to employ religion while um, carrying on with our daily affairs. This is because um, religion has proven to be prone to being out of date. Um, it has been false and it has been proven as such. Um, it interrupts daily life when some practices of worship take too much of your time. Um, it introduces more valuables to consider when you're living your life, um, such as when a woman might want to get an abortion, for example. Um, there is no indication that its functions cannot be accomplished by another facility, such as law. For example, I'm from Turkey, my home country, and in Turkey, marriages are wed by law and not in the eyes of God. It's in the eyes of law that a marriage is valid. Um, when this function can be transferred from religion to law so easily, it relieves the necessity of religion just by that bit more. Um, I also believe we purposefully choose to limit the scope of the religion that we follow, which makes us not complete observers. Um, I don't know if any of you follow your religion to the letter, but I have met very few people who do. For example, if someone who is a Muslim chooses to drink, that I see as limiting the scope of your religion, that I see as you drawing the line where religion interferes with your life. Um, also, religion is too weak to use um, because it's open to interpretation and different people might draw different results from it. And therefore, it's easy to abuse, like the Vatican at times has done, and like Al-Qaeda has done. Um, another reason is because religion gives another at attribute, in my opinion artificial, maybe not in yours, to differentiate each other. We don't need another attribute that we can discriminate each other with. And since it's as easy as following a religion to enter um, a religion's denomination, I see it as a statement to the world that you would like to be with those people and not with the others. And within religious communities, there is higher trust. People trust each other more than they trust the outside. And uh, I don't think that's right. I think everyone is equally worthy of our trust. There is no reason why a person of one religion shouldn't be able to trust another. Um, and I think religion inhibits intercultural dialogue in that way, which is also worse for us in the long run. Um, I believe religion has failed its purpose. Um, the only example I can give is of Abrahamic religions. Okay. Um, religion's purpose was to govern life and send those wayward back to the right way. But the same God, the Abrahamic God, has sent three religions and to the Israelites, he was going to fix the world. There is an actual um, ideology within Judaism, I think, that is to repair the world. Then Christianity, which must have failed because then he sent Islam. I know the Christians in here don't believe that. It's true. The Muslims here believe the reverse. Um, and that clearly failed. 
because now there are people attributing their crimes, atrocious crimes, to religion like they have in the past and it has caused a lot of death, a lot of destruction. I think you guys know the Spanish Inquisition, the, you know, the classics. I don't want to name them. Um, finally. Okay, sorry. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs>